Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you today about a tent service for a house here we're doing um, up south towards Louisville. Um, here is a tent that we built. This uh, video is 2018, uh, October, so that way you kind of know the code. Uh, Excel and all my cities, pretty much except for Estes Park, um, are requiring a bypass lever on a tent service. And then they're requiring four foot pole on the ground and six foot above minimum, uh, if not eight foot above, so closer to 12 foot poles. Uh, we decided to put a photo eye and a light here for the job site. GFCI WRTR 20 amp rated plugs, extra hard duty covers. Label everything with a pink Sharpie. Now, Sharpies are not adequate, evidently. They wear, wear off, not like a paint Sharpie wouldn't. Put your torque spec at the top, your date, who you are, address, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is 125 amp service we're doing because I had a bunch of uh, one off sitting around. So we will go and uh, drive those two ground rods there and put these three posts up. They're going to dig a hole for us and we'll get that all finished up uh, and then call for inspection. I do paint my wood, though it's pre-treated on the post, but not, not on the rest of the board, the OSB board. It just helps it last so um, it weathers a storm that we're hitting winter here pretty quick. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. We do temp services all the time. A lot of people want to know what the material costs. Um, believe it or not, on this tent service, um, brand new, all this material was about 950, if not a little more. So, uh, if you're looking for a cheap temp service, good luck. A lot of it has to be treated. There's no code in the code book that talks about temp. It's just a service entrance cable, service entrance conduit. It is a technically it's standalone service. All right, guys, thanks.